Picture yourself on a beach at dusk. A big red sun is setting into the ocean. And you're not paying attention where you're headed. You drift down closer to the tide. The sand underfoot loosens. You look back at the horizon. The sun is gone. And you realize, all at once, the composition of this sand is entirely different than any you've ever known. You turn back, but now you can barely move at all. It's too late. DC and the NBA are making daily incursions deeper and deeper into the South with significant success. What I wanted most of all was to serve my country, to be one of the president's men. Every piece of intelligence that we get will be contradicted by an equally trustworthy source. If these numbers are wrong, false, we could be fighting on the wrong side. What kind of success do you think we're having in training the South Vietnamese Army and improving their fighting efficiency? About the same amount of success as I'm having asking you to dinner. Because of what is contained in this document, the evidence is all here. Our presidents knew this war was up, and they kept us in it because no one, Republican or Democrat, wanted to be the first to lose a war. Publication of parts of the 47-volume top secret history of American involvement in Vietnam has triggered a major constitutional legal battle over government secrecy and freedom of the press. That's what the papers are about. A history of lies. But it's all right for you to lie because you're serving some high moral purpose. All lies are betrayal. firsthand our prospects were hopeless and I knew it was not going to end. <laughs>